Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch, and today we're going to learn to make a Christmas hat, or a holiday hat, or a Santa hat, or we're going to learn to make one of the hats that like I have on my head. Alright, and we're going to do it on uh, on my husbando's model. Don't you just love the uh, glasses? <laughs> Alright, so the, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, click on the base hair. And then add a procedural hair group. And we're going to scroll down over here and we're going to change the conformity X down to zero. Like that. We're also going to change the height down to uh, 0.1, as low as it'll go. Um, and now what we're going to want to do is take the edges and pull them out. To make this easier, we're going to click on the mirror over here. So it'll do the front and back at the same side. And we're going to want to make sure we do the sides as well. And we're going to pull this to right about where we want the uh, the brim to be. So I'm going to do it a little higher, right about here. I'm going to have to adjust both sides. Or all, all sides. And it might be easier to look down from above as well in order to kind of get like... You wanted a circle, so like kind of like that, yeah. I think, I think about here is going to be good for him, so I'm just going to lift these up to kind of like, yeah, kind of like that. Get this, uh, what, what I'm trying to do is get this base done first, because we're going to end up making this into a point, but I want to get the base um, situated. So like that. Alright. And now I'm just going to take these points and bring them up to the top. And bring them up into the center. Uh, this is very similar to how I did the witch's hat. Like that. And we just keep uh, pulling them into the center. And we're going to take these and we're going to pull it up. And this is also going to come up. I might need to pull this down just a little bit, but it's fine. I'm gonna pull these in. We're gonna try to get this to be as as cone shape as possible. This keeps popping out for some reason, but you know it's fine. All right, let me pull this out just a little bit more because he has this weird hair here. And if I can't get that in there, I might just have to turn it off, which is fine. Yeah, it's fine to do. I'm gonna make it a little longer. Actually, I'll make it a lot longer. He's gonna have a nice big old floppy hat like that, and we'll pull this up to here like that. Kind of looks like a Hershey Kiss right now, right? We're gonna go over here. Um, on the left hand side, we're going to click the procedural group, the whole group, the whole folder. We're going to go to number of hairs, and we're going to go all the way up to 20. And we're going to click the interval so it goes all the way around. Yeah, just like that. Uh, and we're also going to take the hairline and slowly move it out until it's kind of more flat towards... Yeah, like that. So you can kind of see the edges. And then you see this curve here? We're going to adjust that. We want to make it as wide on the base. I like that. And if you see something like this, it's most likely you just need to adjust the hairline a little bit. Although we're still getting a little bit of uh, that peakage, so I'm just going to kind of like tuck that in a bit. Actually, I don't know why that is doing that per se. Seems to be doing good. All right, and I'll just like pull that down to kind of encompass. So he has a little bit of hair sticking out, but we're just gonna like tuck that up inside afterwards. And I want to pull this up higher because I did want it like a little bit longer. And we'll pull these up a little bit too. Now I'm gonna turn off mirror mode to try to get this point more on point because it does seem to be a little. A little off. We want to try to tuck it all into the center. Yeah. 
In fact, I'm gonna kind of like adjust this width just a smidgen. So it should, in theory, overlap. And I'm gonna, uh, at this point I'm gonna duplicate this layer. And right now I'm working on one of the hair layers. And I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna make it, uh, red. We're gonna change it later on. We're gonna go in and work on the texture after, but for now this is what we got. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a freehand group. So we just click on that and we're going to hit the select tool up here. And what we're going to want to do is pull these out. Let's grab that mirror mode again, which is up in that top corner and just sort of pull these out like that. And we're going to want these points to come out as well. Ooh, I accidentally clicked on the wrong layer. And if you do that by mistake, you can just go back to the freehand group and click on it. What you're gonna wanna do is just sort of like, you know, pull it down here. kind of get this uh, to be more circular and pull it kind of closer into the where the brim is because this is going to be the white part. Actually, let me grab this hair real quick and I'm just going to like bloop, turn it off. All right. Back down here. All right, that looks like it's good for now. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to kind of make both sides about the same so it kind of like whoop whoop on this curve, which, you know, you can kind of see a little bit whoop whoop. All right, and then we're going to draw, ooh, hold on. I'm gonna turn off mirror mode and we're going to draw a circle around the whole thing, like that. We're going to do a thick and a width. Let's make it thicker. And I'm going to actually duplicate this and I'm going to turn this. Uh, we're going to turn it green for now so I can see it. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twist. Um, give it a lot of a twist or a little bit of a twist. It's up to you. Um, and then I'm going to take the control points and I'm going to kind of adjust them and pull them out a little bit. So a lot of working with hair is adjusting these control points to get it exactly how you want it. Uh, and that can be a little time consuming, but trust me, it always looks better at the end when you do that. Alright, and it does taper smaller in the back, but that's okay because we're not really going to see that. Alright, uh, if you click on the freehand group, the whole category, we can also increase the width a little bit more. Make it a bit thicker. And we're gonna adjust this later on, don't worry. All right, I'm gonna click on the base hair again and add a freehand group. Over on this right hand side, I'm going to turn the uh, conformity X, which uh, is over here, which is a little, it's behind me, it's a little hard to see. Let me, uh, let me try to scoot out of the way a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So you're gonna do is you should take this and just drop it down. It's what we did before, and we're gonna take the height and we're also gonna drop it down. And this one, it doesn't matter if you have the mirror mode on too much. I'm gonna pull out some of these points like this. And pull it all the way straight up. Oh, I clicked off of it. All right, and one of these I'm going to kind of pull right into the center. Yeah, like about there. So we have that to work with. You see how it's kind of like cutting right through the center? Yeah. And while we're selected on our green color down here, I'm going to just kind of be a big old swirly do like that. I'm going to click on our control points, and I'm going to kind of tighten this in just a little bit. I 
and something like that. And I'm going to change the thickness and I'm going to add like a little bit of a twist to it. Uh, the width I could maybe add a little bit too. I'm going to click on the freehand group, the whole group, and I'm also going to change the thickness of that too because I want it nice and big and poofy. Um, I'm going to kind of adjust the width right about there. There we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. That was a big old poof. And if you want it smaller, you can make it smaller, and you can also like pull in the the point so it's not as big. So we can kind of go like this a little bit. Oh, and you can also like lower the this width or whatever, or expand it. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. All right. Uh, so we got the basic down. Now we're gonna go over here and we're going to click on our textures. Also, if you're interested in this jacket he's wearing, I have it for free up on my booth. You can just go to, I think it's argamowitch.booth.pm or booth.pm slash argamowitch. I don't remember how it works. All right, let's go to our red hair, which is here, this uh, red hair texture which is this base right here. And um, wait for it to load. And I'm gonna remove this to a, the white. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my eyedropper and I'm gonna just grab a color of red from the actual outfit itself. And I'm going to turn the width up all the way and I'm just gonna like scribble in the color I want. And I'm doing it all one color. You can do like a gradient if you want, but sometimes it doesn't always look good. In fact, let me go over into here. It'd be easier to do a gradient in this one. And this is my art program, it's Clip Studio Paint. Oops. I'm gonna open up a hair texture I already have kicking around. Um, and you can just download a hair texture directly from the program itself. But let's um, let's do this. This we're gonna make it like this, and we'll make it a little lighter up top, like that. Yeah, it's just kind of like a little bit of a fade. Okay. And let's see what that looks like. I'm going to import. And there you go. You kind of have that little bit of a fade. We started at the bottom. I forgot the bottom was down here, but and it went up to the top. But either way, it'll still work. <laughs> Um, so you can do a fade like that. If you color in yourself, you gotta be careful because if you misalign it even a little bit, like, you're going to have the pattern all over the place. And for this, for the green, I'm gonna turn that to white and then when I click on the hair texture, Now keep in mind that, um, oops, I want to take these shades off. I don't use shading on my models, I shade them myself. Uh, but what you'll want to do is make sure the base color is at white and the shade color is also at white with the highlight at black. And this way, um, the uh, highlight and the shade aren't going to affect it. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of color this all in. In fact, we'll put the mirror mode on, I'll make it a little faster. And you could add some like shading to this too if you really wanted to, but I'm just gonna keep it like a bright white because because I'm lazy and I want to. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost done with this, but we're not quite there yet. What I actually am going to do is I've been thinking about this and I want to adjust this hair a little bit in the back. So I'm gonna make it pull up to be almost closer to a straight. I did like the tapered in the back, uh, but not to that extent. 
yeah, kind of more like that. All right, and then we're going to go over to the bone group, which is over here. It's the second tab. And I'm going to click uh, the procedural hair group plus this poof ball on the top. And then I'm going to hit create bone group. And it's going to look at this like weird curve here, right? So what I'm going to do is select one of the hairs and I'm going to do it on the side because I want it to flop over on a side. And I'm going to do set as axis, which is over here on the right hand side. Bloop. And the fix point might be okay. We'll see, but let's, let's turn the gravity up just a smidgen. All right. Now, when we click off of this particular group, you're going to watch it go flop. All right, it's a little bit of floppy. This is not too bad. Let's make it a little bit more floppy. Bloop. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to lower the hit radius too and see how that looks. Bloop. Okay, you know what? That's okay. Uh, I, what I want to do is adjust the fix. I'm going to change the bone count to three and adjust the fix point to go a little higher. Right about there. Yeah, that might work. And keep in mind, if you're using a program like VC Face, um, it's going to have more floppage than it does in this program. VC Face is a little, it's a little weird sometimes on some of the stuff it does, but you know, we can adjust it. Yeah, you're kind of going to want to flop kind of about there. And we can kind of see just a flop in motion. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And then when you're done, you just hit the export button over here, which is under the export tab. And then you hit export. You fill out all this information and just hit OK. Uh, being that this was made with hair here um, in Vroid, you won't need to take it into Unity at all unless there's something else you want to add to your model. But at this point, you're done and you should have a really cute Santa hat. Um, if you have any questions on this, if something went wrong or anything, you are free to ask down below in the comments. I also have a Vroid server that you can join in which uh, we take questions and answer them the best of our ability over there. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Uh, I do have a Discord and a Patreon if you want to support me. Uh, and also I post uh, free assets on Twitter, the Vroid server, and sometimes right here on YouTube. Uh, so another incentive to subscribe. Most of them are free, not all of them. Some of them do cost money, but you know, I gotta make a living. Alright, anyways, thank you so much and Merry Christmas!